Welcome back, friends. It's Anders. Today, I am doing three smoked cocktails. Well, they're smoky cocktails. So here's what happened. I was going for a walk. It's gotten really cold here in Chicago. It's brisk. And I smelled, I don't know if somebody was like burning leaves or just barbecuing or something. Maybe, I hope, I hope a building wasn't burning down, but it smelled kind of good. And I thought, I want to put that in a drink or two or three. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for more sips, tips, and recipes. And let's go make some smoke-inspired cocktails. To the bar, right here. We're not going anywhere. We're doing it all here today. To the bar is more of a state of mind. It's a think piece. It's a philosophical thing. Today's video is brought to you by Visky. They make quality barware and glassware, and I'm super excited to talk about this because I have used Visky products in the past. What I like about Visky is they consult with actual bartenders when they are making their product. So it's not just aesthetically pleasing, it's actually functional. And that's important behind your bar. What do they make? Pretty much everything that you can think of and that you're gonna need for a cocktail, minus the booze. We're talking barware, glassware, ice molds, wine tools, and specialty items like this smoked cocktail kit, which I got today and I will be using because this is a smoked cocktail video. Allegedly, the last time they offered this, it sold out in 24 hours. So it is a highly sought after product, allegedly. I don't know, maybe they only made four of them. It works by catching the smoke. You put your drink in here with the smoke, swirl it around, and your cocktail is now smoke infused. Go to the link down below, use the code Anders15, and you will receive 15% off site wide. Thank you, Visky. Now the video. The first smoke cocktail we're doing is the Kentucky Colonel, which isn't typically smoked, but it is very good smoked. To make this drink, you will need a nice bourbon, Benedictine, Angostura bitters, and a lemon. Yeah, it's a pretty simple build, but add a little bit of smoke and it becomes sublime. Let's build. Into the mixing glass, two ounces of bourbon, half an ounce of Benedictine, three good dashes of Angostura bitters. Maybe four. This thing is really little. We are gonna add ice and stir in a minute, but first we want to rinse our lowball glass right here with smoke. So set this off to the side. And just because I know all of you have one, grab a uh, either a stave from a bourbon barrel or in my case, a header. So whichever you have, go ahead and just grab that now. And we are going to lay down a baking sheet. This is to protect our valuable bar top. That was a joke. I actually know that not everybody has pieces of barrel, but a nice piece of wood. You can smoke it, make sure it doesn't have any, uh, it's not treated wood because then you're, you're dealing with chemicals. So you want good hard wood that we are gonna smoke. Whatever smoking wood contraption you have, use that. I get a little giddy around fire, I am sorry. Grab a blowtorch. We are gonna scorch this, get it nice and hot, get it burning. There we are, nice little circles. Be extra careful if you have hairy arms like I do. Get your glass ready. Maybe don't reach over the flames. We capture that smoke. Look at that. We won't drink all that smoke, but some of that smoke is gonna get on the inside of that glass. So set this off to the side, grab the cocktail we already built, and we can add ice and stir. The usual 30 seconds or so. Grab your beautiful ice lump, flip this over, and drop it into the glass without losing too much of the smoke. And now we can pour the cocktail right over the ice. That is a beautiful thing. For the garnish, we are gonna do a flamed lemon oil across the top. Keep it toasty. When I'm doing a flamed garnish, I like to do just a little cheek of the lemon as opposed to a, a long swath. Take your classic butane lighter. This is uh, a Bic, uh, I'm not sponsored. Now I like to light a little wooden skewer. I don't know, something about like expressing oil through the butane I don't like doing that. Right across the top, express the oils through the flame. Ooh, ah, and we have got a smoked Kentucky Colonel. Cheers. That is a beautiful color. I definitely get the sweet smoke and the lemon. That is delicious. Really outstanding. It's like a honey smokiness, which we are really going to showcase in the next cocktail, which is, I don't have a name for it. It's a bee's knees. I'm smoking a bee's knees. All right, when you go to gather the honey, you want to calm the bees. So a lot of times they add smoke to the bees and it calms them down. I think they eat a bunch of honey because they think their hive is on fire. So what should we call this? The, uh, the bee calm, no? If you don't like it, Tell me in the comments down below. This is the B calm, B-E-E -E calm. You will need gin, freshly squeezed lemon juice, and a honey syrup. 
This is three parts honey to one part water. Now, before we build this cocktail, we are going to get our smoke ready. We are gonna use this contraption from Visky that I talked about earlier. Grab the stand that comes with the kit and we will put in it one of these little pellets. Again, use whatever smoking contraption you have. Probably going a little overkill here. Ooh. Set that off to the side while that vessel fills with smoke and we can go ahead and build the cocktail. Grab a shaking tin. In the shaking tin, two ounces of dry gin, add three quarters of an ounce of the honey syrup and three quarters of an ounce of the fresh lemon juice. Now add ice and shake. 10 to 15 seconds, the usual. I'm going to double strain this into the bottle and then cap it again. Just gonna swirl this around in the smoke. If this were a stirred cocktail, you'd wanna be pretty gentle, but the fact that we shook it, I think, I think we could go ahead and shake it. Keep an air in the cocktail, which is what we want in a sour cocktail. So now get your chilled up glass and go ahead and pour it right in. This is not traditional, but we kind of threw tradition by the wayside here. We're gonna garnish with a little rosemary. And I'm thinking maybe we smoke this rosemary. Just, just a little, just a little bit. Mmm, right across the top. There we have the Be Calm. Cheers. Ooh, that's really nice. The smoke is not overpowering. It's just a nice accent. Goes really well with the honey. The lemon keeps it bright. I like the rosemary on the nose. It's silky in texture. I think this might be the best bee's knees I've ever had. Well done, Anders. We are two for two. On to the last. The third and final smoky cocktail on this little list is the cigar. For years, at the bar that I used to work at, we would make this cocktail because it was so good, although none of us knew where it came from or who created this drink. So it's a bit of a mystery, but it's really good and I wanna share it with you. Now, this is a smoky cocktail, but we're not actually smoking this one. For the cigar, we will need sweet vermouth, an Isla Scotch, and Aperol. We're also gonna want some grapefruit and a cinnamon stick. Where does the smoke come from? The Isla Scotch. It's a peaty, smoky flavor that's really big and bold. I should point out all of the bottles that we have in this video here today, you can find in my collection on Curiata. We're gonna stir this cocktail into the mixing glass one and a half ounces of sweet vermouth, one ounce of your Isla Scotch, and half an ounce of Aperol. Now, you can add ice and stir, 30 seconds or so. I know there's a million ways that you can smoke drinks. You've got those smoking tops, this big like dome that you will just encase the whole cocktail with smoke. I think these are three good smoky cocktails to get you on the path of smoky cocktails. Grab your chilled cocktail glass, strain the cocktail into the glass. Zest of grapefruit across the top. We want those grapefruit oils to brighten this drink up. So right across the top, uh, you could roll it up so it looks like a little cigar, but I'm doing something special for you. Special toasted little cinnamon stick. This will be our cigar. I'm just gonna get the end. Okay, that's good, that's good, that's good. Put that on the edge. It smells outstanding. Sometimes you can just put it right back on. That's fine. Kind of like a, it's like a cigar sitting at the edge of an ashtray. And we are about to drink the contents of that ashtray, the cigar. Cheers. I love this drink. If you like a good peaty scotch, I would recommend you try this tonight. It's rich. There's a good amount of that sweet vermouth, so it, it gives it body. And there's a slight bitter edge at the end from the Aperol. Cinnamon stick, I think, is a nice touch, however, if you don't wanna do this, you don't have to. I think the grapefruit is actually the more important aromatic component, but this looks like a cigar. <laughs> so thank you, Visky, for sponsoring today's video. Thank you, the viewer, for watching. If you wanna support the channel, keep watching these videos. If you wanna further support the channel, check us out on Patreon. See you next time, be good, cheers.